We will continue our discussion on reciprocating pump. Its working is simple and easy to understand. One working cycle of a reciprocating pump consists of two strokes, that is suction stroke and delivery stroke, which are completed in one complete revolution of the crank. During the suction stroke, the piston moves from this leftmost position to rightmost position, that is inner dead center to the outer dead center. The distance through which the piston traverses during a stroke is known as the stroke length. Considering the geometry, you can see that the stroke length is equal to twice the crank radius. That is the diameter of the circle will be equal to the stroke length. And during the suction stroke, the suction valve is open and the negative pressure which is created within the cylinder that helps in sucking liquid through the suction pipe into the cylinder. The pressure acting on the liquid at the sump is atmospheric pressure. In fact, the atmospheric pressure pushes the liquid through the suction pipe and ultimately the liquid enters the cylinder. And during the suction stroke, the piston moves from inner dead center to outer dead center. When this 180 degree crank rotation is complete, the pressurization of the liquid is being done because both the valves will be closed at that position. Note that the liquid is incompressible. Since the liquid is incompressible, the momentary pressurization takes place when both the valves are in the closed position. As the crank, crank rotates from 180 degree to 360, that is the second half, the piston moves from outer dead center to inner dead center. The increased pressure inside the cylinder push the delivery valve open and the pressurized liquid enters the delivery pipe through the delivery valve and ultimately into the destination. And important thing is here the liquid is in contact with the piston on one side of it and uh, this type of arrangement is called a single acting reciprocating pump. Whereas in a double acting reciprocating pump, the liquid is in contact with both sides of the piston. As you can see that there are two suction pipes and two delivery pipes and on one side when effective suction takes place and on the other side the delivery stroke uh, takes place. That is uh, during the suction stroke when water enters through this valve to the left, the pressurization of water which is previously entered the that takes place on the right side and is delivered and the advantage of this is theoretically the discharge of the pump will be double twice the single acting reciprocating here it is important to note that in a single acting reciprocating pump there is one delivery stroke during the full revolution of the crank during the one first 180 degree there is no delivery of water through the delivery pipe and therefore the discharge will be pulsating and intermittent whereas in a double acting pump there will be two delivery strokes during one revolution of the crank so therefore the pulsation will be slightly less and to smoothen out the pulsations and make the discharge more uniform we have the other provisions to add on reciprocating.